Hey there, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Ark Survival Ascended. As always, I'm Captain Beefy. This is the Game Vault. We're going to do a creature spotlight today. It's going to be on the Mantis. I'm going to show you what it takes to tame one, how to tame one, what it takes to make their um, saddle, and, uh, you know, what they're good for. So let's keep the music and we'll get right to it. First things first, when you want to tame a mantis, you got to locate a mantis. And on the Scorched Earth map, they are out in the dunes, and they're everywhere. They don't seem to be as popular as they were back on Ark Survival Evolved, but they're still out here. I've been out looking for quite some time. I've killed about 30 or 40 of them, and this is the best one I can find that's even remotely worth taming right now. Uh, definitely not the highest of levels, but... We're going to go ahead, we're going to grab him and put him in a cage. Now, you can tame them out in the wild like this, but I don't recommend it because they tend to get into fights with things like um, vultures and the festal suchis and stuff like that, which can make taming them an absolute nightmare, especially if they get caught in their leaping animation. There's kind of a bug going on right now with them where they'll leap attack and something goes wrong and then they're frozen in it. You'll never be able to tame them if that's the case. So I've got a simple cage built, and we're going to go ahead and try to drop him into that. It can be a little challenging with the wyvern. You can't pick him up on a uh, RG, unfortunately, but you can get him on a wyvern. So we're going to cage him up, and then we'll come back and begin the taming process. I'll show you what it takes. All right, we actually got him in on the first try, which is amazing, because um, the one I tried to do earlier that I ended up having to kill because he got caught in that frozen animation I just mentioned or yeah I couldn't get him in that cage to save my life but this guy no problem all right so there's a little preparation involved in uh, getting one of these guys tamed up you're gonna want a ghillie outfit like I have on as you can see I got full ghillie on I do have the desert ghillie on but that doesn't really matter that's only a uh, skin that you get here on scorched earth it doesn't really change anything about the ghillie unit outfit it just Makes it cooler looking for scorched earth. Now you're also going to want a couple of um, other things before you start taming him. One of them is a cactus broth. We're going to go ahead and grab one out of our fridge up here. I find these in drops all the time. If you don't find any in a drop, you can make them. I'll show you what it takes to make one. Here it is right here. Amber berries, cactus sap, azul berries, and major berries. So not very challenging to make it you can usually grow the stuff you know except for the cactus sap to make one of those but like i said i got a couple in here so we're going to go ahead and grab one out and i'll grab two because it's about to rot i don't want to accidentally lose it if i take up too much time prepping up here and the next thing we're going to want is something that you use a lot on the island for um, taming passive tames and that is insect repellent you don't have to have both. You don't have to have either, really. Um, but it does help. Oh, we don't have any narcotics? you got to be kidding me. Uh, let's make ten narcotics real quick. There we go. And then we'll make one of these. Oh, yeah, ten narcotics makes a lot of narcotics. I forgot about that. And one of those makes a decent amount of those. All right, perfect. So good. So yeah, like I said, it's a passive tame. And there's two things you can feed it. A lot of people know the one thing is a death worm horn. And to get death worm horns, you need to basically kill a whole bunch of death worms on scorched earth. And death worms could be a little challenging to uh, kill. But you can also use rhino horns. Now, rhino horns are not nearly as effective but they do work. So if you've got, you know, rhino horns from drops, I have the one I have in my hand, I got on a drop, or if you bring some over from the island, uh, you're really not going to have any uh, rhinos on this map. Uh, but when you get to uh, Ragnarok, you will have rhinos and these, uh, these guys on the same map. So that'll be kind of cool. All right. I threw off my shoulder pet because I think that can trigger this guy into seeing you 
And I'm going to go ahead and we'll start off with the Rhino Horn. Just because it's least effective. But I think a Rhino Horn... Yeah. Uh, hold on a second. I think we're about to have some trouble here. Alright. Yeah, I see some vultures over there. We're going to clear those vultures out real quick. Even in a trap, I don't want a fight going on here. Because vultures can and will, depending on their level and how many there are, kill one of these guys. Alright. We may have agitated him, so I'm just going to fly out of render distance real quick. Just to give him an opportunity to relax. Heh. Oh, 135, of course. We're going to leave him for now. I mean, we've already got this other guy caged up. This is... Oh, here's a bunch more, too. <laughs> Let's just take a look. A 120. And a 130. Okay. So these guys are great, though, to kill. You know, even if you're not taming them, you definitely want to kill some of these guys. And we'll do that real quick. You're going to get chitin out of them. And more importantly, you're going to get polymer out of them. Organic polymer. You know, there's no... Um, no penguins on this map. So, this is the way you get polymer. Can I get in there, buddy? Thank you. As you can see, we get a decent amount of it. Alright. Let's go start the taming process now. That's enough of that. So, as you can see, we've got the sap active, and we've got the um, the bug repellent active. Full gilly. We get close, we're going to crouch down. Here we go. We're going to try to stay behind him. Again. He's okay, right? Yeah, I don't think he's agitated. Doesn't appear to be. Okay, oop. I gave him one. Alright. As you can see, it went up 17.9%. Not a huge percentage going up, but a decent amount. So we're going to kind of get out of the area real quick. We're going to let him go ahead and relax. And I'm going to put the rhino horns down there. Second feeding will be rhino horns, and that one should help uh, move things along quite a bit. Or, I'm sorry, death worm horns, not rhino horns. Death worm horns. First one was a rhino horn. Yeah, it's been a rough night here, guys. Sorry, I'm a little off my game, but we will get this video done. We'll get this guy tamed up, and I'll deliver everything I promised on there. <laughs> All right, so yeah, we're about 400-something away. We'll go a little bit further out. I'll come back when he's ready for his second feeding. All right, we gave him a second time there. One horn. And it got him up to 98.4%, but he did see us. He's not very happy with us, but that's okay. You know what? I'm having a hard time. I think you need a bigger cage than this. I know the ones trench built were significantly larger, so I'm going to recommend that if you decide to uh, do one of these guys in a cage to definitely make it bigger because this feels like it's just a little bit too tight of quarters for him. But we're going to get out of render distance once again, and then we'll come back and finish him off. It shouldn't take too much longer now. To get him fed. That second feeding is the one that always takes the longest. Well, look at that. Morning is upon us and we are almost out of both repellent Oh, well, let me take another repellent until that one runs out, I guess. Uh, I took another soup. Yeah, we're going to take another repellent when it runs out. Because that really lets me get close to this guy. Man, the mornings are wild looking here. 15 seconds till we could take it. But yeah, he's so agitated. He's still in there. He's, you know, he's not like aggroed on me or anything like that, He, but he is aggravated. <laughs> and it makes it hard to just sneak up on him and stick him with one of those things. But we're going to try it one more time here. He did hit us, I think, both times that we uh, attempted it before. Oh, of course, we can't get in here now. Can we do it? Yeah. 
No, I need to be behind him. Damn it. I'm not letting it happen. Alright, you know what we're going to do? Don't get frozen in that animation, buddy. I don't even have the right gun on me. I'll be back. Alright, we've let him out. Hopefully this will make things a little bit easier now. As long as he doesn't run and get himself into a fight, we should be okay. We're going to try and sneak up on him here. And see if we can't just give him that last horn real quick. So we want to come up from behind. And yeah, I think there's just not enough room in there for him to... Ah, turn around and... Come on, don't fight, buddy. Sit still. Sit still. Relax. We're so close, man. There we go. We got him. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, man. That was a pain in the ass. All right. Well, I'm going to go ahead and we're going to bring him inside real quick, take a look at his stats and all that, and then we're going to show you how to make a saddle for him and show you some cool stuff that he could do. So we'll be right back. All right, so you got to be level 45 to get the Mantis saddle. Takes a little bit of fiber, some metal ingots, and some hide. Not a particularly uh, challenging saddle to build. I'm not sure if I have one in my box of junk here. I'm going to take a quick look just to see if we have one. It'll save me from making it, but mm, here we go. We got an apprentice one. Cool. Was that? No, it wasn't. Okay. So let's take a look at the stats on this guy. Uh, 26 points, 25. 43 in stamina, which isn't too bad. Chuck him out. We'll get him saddled up. And you can see he's got something that says hands in a costume. Now, of course, he doesn't really have hands. He's got those little front pinchers there, or she, or he. Well, he's a he. But what's cool is we can give him stuff to hold. And I'll show you a couple examples of things he can hold in his claws. So first off, we can give him a pick. And when we give him a pick, it goes into both uh, both claws, right? And he is actually a pretty good miner for resources. You can go out there and chop up some rocks. Get some trees. Good for metal nodes. Salt. All that fun stuff, right? Now, the only negative, really, with this guy in mining is concerned is, of course, his weight isn't too good. As you can see, he's got a weight of about 330. Nothing spectacular. If you want to do a lot of mining um, and use him, you know, like, let's say you've got a really good uh, sickle, or not sickle, but pickaxe or whatever... You're going to need some arches or something to transport the metal back. He's not going to be able to do it on his own. It's going to be a little tough for him there. But you can switch that out. Let's go ahead and pull this. And we're going to give him a spear now. Something different, right? Get rid of all that. It even keeps the skin on it, right? That's pretty cool. So yeah, he can be used as an attack creature as well. He can run up and... Uh, you can see he's no slouch. Now, we haven't put any points into him. But he's popping off 133 points of damage there. And he's not... Um, yeah, it's not a good uh, spear or anything by any stretch of the imagination. Uh-oh. This is not what we want. We have no, no problem with the clan of the... Vultures. All right. Why can't we... I guess we can't mine him for whatever reason. Okay. But yeah, so that's how they work, man. They're pretty neat like that. They've got that regular old R2 attack. The L2 is the leaping attack. Let's go ahead and leap attack something just for the fun of it. I don't want to do an Arthur right now. I don't feel like losing all of my... Yeah, screw you, buddy. Oh, C205. It does a little more damage. But for some reason it does not harvest vultures. That's a pretty good leap though. Nothing with the R3. Yeah. 
yep, that's it, man. That's how the Mantis works. So if you found this video useful at all as far as learning how to tame it or what it's good for, please leave a like on it down below. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Also, this guy is breedable, which is nice. He used to not be, but he is breedable now. So feel free to capture a few of these, breed up some good stats and all that. As always, we can't to beef you with the game, but I'll see you guys next time. Until then, peace.